Hi, welcome to Moo Moo Math. Today we're going to look at vectors. So this first video is very heavy on vocabulary and I'm going to go over some of the terms. So we're going to look at what is a directed segment, what is an initial terminal point and how does that help us, what is the magnitude which is also known as the length that also gives us direction, what is component form? What is the standard position of a vector? What's a unit vector? What's a standard unit vector in a linear combination? And how do you find scale? How do you calculate scalar multiplication? And how do you add vectors to get a resultant vector? Those are all the topics we're going to cover in these first few videos. So, what is a vector? A vector is a quantity having a direction as well as a magnitude. And a magnitude just is a length, especially as determined in the position of one point in space relative to another. So, what are some applications of vectors? So, let's say you're a pilot and you're leaving the airport you're going to have a speed or a, di or a distance you're going to travel. So maybe you're going from Atlanta to Houston. So that's a distance and a couple of thousand, you know, 1200 miles. Or you also have a direction. Well, you have to think about the direction the plane would travel from Atlanta to get over to Houston. So that is a good example of an application of a vector. So let's talk about what you need to know about vectors. Well, first of all, a director, a vector is a directed line segment, meaning it has a direction and it's a segment. Now we draw it as a ray, but because it's a segment, it has a specific length. So a vector is represented by a directed line segment with a beginning and an ending point. Okay, it has a magnitude, which is also known as a length and a direction. Okay, it has to have a starting point, a beginning point, and we call that the initial point. And then it has a terminal point, which is the ending point. So if we're looking at this directed line segment, this position right here is the initial point, And this position down here is the terminal point. Okay, a magnitude. I've mentioned this a couple times. A magnitude refers to the length of that directed line segment. So we'll talk a lot about magnitude being a length. All vectors have some length or some magnitude. And this measures the total distance moved. So if we go back to the airline pilot example, Atlanta to Houston, that is distance, a straight distance. So the distance from Atlanta to Houston would be our magnitude. So if you have a horizontal or a vertical line, it's very easy. So this one would be one, two, three, four units long. Okay, that would be the magnitude. What now one that's not a horizontal or vertical that's at an angle like on a Cartesian coordinate plane, you're going to have to use the distance formula to figure out its length. And remember distance is just another form of the Pythagorean theorem. So you're going to find this length by calculating the Pythagorean theorem. Now for notation, the notation of magnitude almost looks like an absolute value bar. Okay, so it's kind of like taking the absolute value of a vector. And a vector is noted with a letter, typically a lowercase, but it doesn't have to be a lowercase. And then this little symbol, and it looks like an arrow but it's missing the bottom piece of the arrow, but that represents a vector. So the notation for magnitude are these absolute value bars of a vector. Now, direction. Let's talk a little bit about direction. To find the direction of a vector, you're going to use um, the, a tangent formula. So if a vector is in standard position, meaning it starts at the origin, and its terminal point has the coordinates 12, 9. What is the direction? So let's look at that. The horizontal distance would be 12. So I'm going to label this as 12. 
the vertical distance would be 9. So really, we're looking at the point 12, 9. So what is this angle that it creates? That angle would be then the direction. How do you find that? Well, you use the tangent. Okay, so I'm going to take the tangent of the angle, and typically we call that theta. So you'll see theta used with vectors. And the t to find this angle, I would do opposite over adjacent, so 9 over 12. Now, I just need to figure out what this theta is. So I'm just going to take the inverse tangent of 9 twelfths. So inverse tangent of 9 twelfths. And that's the angle of my vector. So let me grab my calculator. And we'll calculate that very quickly. And let's see, let's take the inverse tangent of 9 twelfths. And that gives me 36.9 degrees. So my angle would be 36.9 degrees. And since I'm in quadrant 1, that's actually the direction. So in quadrant 1, it's pretty easy. It's just 36.9 degrees. Now, let's talk about component form. To write a vector in component form, we're going to use these little symbols. It looks like kind of a V on its side. Okay, a vector will always be written in component form with these little symbols on each side rather than parentheses. So no vector will be written in component form with parentheses. It will be written with the symbols that look like Vs. So this position or that vector would look like this. It would go 1, 2, 3, and then up 1, 2, 3, 4. And I would draw it from the origin to the point at 3, 4 with an arrow. So that's what my vector would look like if I'm given the vector 3, 4. It's got a horizontal component of 3, so I'm going over 3, and a vertical component of 4 and up 4. And there you go. So what is standard position? We've kind of started alluding to it. A standard, the standard position of a vector is when the vector starts at the origin. So in component form, you are looking at a vector that is in standard position. In other words, its initial point is the origin. So 3, 4, the vector 3, 4 starts at the origin, goes over 3, and up 4 in standard position. And now let's talk about what a unit vector is. Okay, a unit vector is a vector that has a magnitude of 1 one unit. So that means every single position on the unit circle that we learned, those are all unit vectors. So that unit circle is going to help us tremendously because we know the hypotenuse of those right triangles on the unit circle are all one. So a unit vector is a vector that has a magnitude or a hypotenuse, a length of one. So a standard unit vector, i and j, is a unit vector with a special unit that are parallel to the x and y axis. And they point in positive directions. So the standard units uh, vectors i and j look like this, where i is your x direction, which is represented by one unit, and j is your vertical in the um, positive up direction. So we can take the vector 3, 4 in component form and write it with the standard ij vectors as 3i, 
meaning we're going 3 in the positive x direction, plus 4j, meaning we're moving 4 units in the positive y direction. So those are your i, j vectors. And this, the writing of this is also called a linear combination, but it's written with the standard unit vectors. Okay, that's where we're going to stop on the basic vocabulary. So learn those and you'll have the beginning of the foundation for this unit. I hope this video was helpful and you learned a little something about the vocabulary of vectors.